Hey there, I'm Garrett from the Software Training Lab, and today we're going to go over the basics of the Premiere Pro interface. In our previous video, we brought in footage from the Import tab, so we can now find it in the Project panel. This brings up a big idea of how Premiere is organized. Everything is placed in panels. We can drag any panel to go anywhere on the screen and resize them to suit our liking. Premiere also has some preset workspaces set up to help us work easier. For example, the Color workspace will bring up some panels that will help you work with color. And the Audio workspace brings up audio-related panels. We're going to stick in the Editing workspace, which should look something like this. Keep note of the different tabs that are available on each panel section. Sometimes there are too many tabs for the section, so they'll be found in this little overflow arrow. If you ever need to bring up a panel you can't see, go to the Window tab and select it from the list. I already have some footage placed on my timeline, which is found here on the bottom right. The top right panel is called the Program Monitor. This is essentially the output of the timeline, where we can preview what the final product will look like. We can either use the buttons beneath the preview to play, pause, or scrub right and left. Or we can use the spacebar to play and pause, and scrub forward with the right and backward with the left arrow key. Another easy way that we can interact with the video is through J, K, and L. L plays the video forward. K stops it, and J plays backwards. I can also double press L to move forward at twice the speed. And the same goes for J. All right. In our next video, we're going to cover adding clips to the timeline and making some basic rough cuts to our video.